Welcome back, Guardians. So today I wanted to cover another exotic weapon, one that I've been using really much ever since I got it. Today we're going to talk about the Anarchy. So the Anarchy is an exotic grenade launcher, which you can get from the Raid Scourge of the Past. It's not really that difficult to get it nowadays. If you find a group for, say, consoles or on PC in the Looking for Group channels, you can just find a group that has a checkpoint, finish the last boss, and have a chance to get the Anarchy from the final boss. There's also bad luck protection, meaning that if you don't get the Anarchy, any consecutive runs you do in Scourge of the Past has a chance to give you it with a much higher drop rate. This grenade launcher is, as you might have guessed, not like any other grenade launcher in the game. This grenade launcher is exceptionally well at dealing damage over time. Each grenade deals a consecutive amount of damage over a set amount of time, and this is what makes this grenade launcher so good, because you can keep two stacks of the grenade on enemies for maximum DPS from the gun, and then you can swap to some heavy hitting grenade launcher, sniper or shotgun in any other slot. And as you might have guessed, this works exceptionally well in PvE. This is one of my go-to exotics, as a matter of fact, because you really don't have to think that much with this gun, you just shoot two grenades and then you swap into another weapon. This works especially well in any encounter where you have to move a lot, for example, say, Kel Echo or the Consecrated Mine in Garden of Salvation. If you combine this with, say, a 1-2 punch shotgun or, say, a special grenade launcher or a sniper, you can deal a huge amount of damage in a short amount of time. As for how much damage it deals, it deals roughly 3,250 damage per tick on one grenade application and 6,500 on two grenade applications. One thing worth noting is that any other grenade applications will not increase the overall damage. It will just extend the damage duration, which you can imagine is logical because you applied a new grenade and the grenade has its own duration, which means you'll extend the damage of it. And this also makes it kind of useless in PvP because there are so many other good alternatives for this slot. You can use Black Talon that has a homing right click, you could use Truth. You could use Xenophage, you could use anything else in PvP that is way better than this gun. But for PvE, this is definitely a gun you don't want to miss out on. But if you unfortunately do not have time, or you don't really want to get into the raid, then all hope is not yet lost. The gun is, as a matter of fact, gonna be added to the memorial kiosk when Beyond Light comes. However, we don't know what the price will be, what the currency is, or how to acquire said currency, so have this in mind when you're gonna go get it from the kiosk. Outside of that, I can't state enough how good this gun is. I really suggest you try and get it. Like, seriously, it's one of the best DPS guns for PvE in the game, and it's really fun to use. And with that, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it inspired you, I hope it helped you in making a decision as to whether or not you want the Anarchy. And if you did enjoy this guide, then leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, and clicking on that bell is a great way to get notifications on all the latest uploads, which happens every weekday. I want to thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is CC Spectre, signing off.